For any of you lucky enough to have beauty berries growing near where you live, I want you to know that these are amazingly little wonderful good things. They are not good just for jelly, but they make excellent insect repellent. The United States Department of Agriculture has done some tests on the leaves of beauty berries and come to find out you can just rub these directly on your skin or you can soak them and make a insect repellent spray or a salve. So since people probably don't want to just rub a green leaf on them and then as fall weather comes there will be fewer leaves anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead and make insect repellent that'll last all year. You need some kind of a container with a lid on it. You just wanna put a good number of leaves in there and then cover them with boiling water because we're gonna steep these. So then I just kind of pack them down. I just wanna make sure that every leaf is completely submerged in water. I want my extraction to be strong, so I'm gonna let it steep overnight, but they say four to six hours should be fine. Now for a spray, the only other things you're gonna need are some witch hazel, some glycerin, essential oils that smell good to you, and some coconut oil. For each one cup of the leaf extraction, I'm gonna add a half a cup of witch hazel, one teaspoon of coconut oil, and one teaspoon of glycerin. And then you can add however much essential oil you want, depending on how strong you want your fragrance to be. Just mix those ingredients up really well, and then you're ready to bottle it. Now, I also fiddled around and made an oil formulation. And so to do that, for each one half cup of my extraction, I added one third of a cup of a good high quality olive oil, one third of a cup of castor oil, one teaspoon of coconut oil, and one teaspoon of glycerin and then my essential oils. Then I whirled that in the blender. Once that was all emulsified, I just funneled it and put it in some little pump bottles. Now for my salve, I'm gonna melt together three cups of coconut oil with three ounces of beeswax and pour that into one half a cup of my Beauty Berry leaf extraction. Then I'm gonna add my essential oils. Then all of that goes in the blender and I blended it on high for a pretty good while until it turned really pale in color. I poured it into some little screw top jars and then let it sit until it solidified and then I labeled it. Now I had a bunch of leaves left over so I decided at the last minute I was gonna do an alcohol extraction. So I covered the leaves with one cup of alcohol and then the rest boiling water. And then I left it overnight and the next day I ran that liquid through the blender with the leaves in it and then I strained it and I came out with a much darker extraction. I wanted to make a spray out of this also, so I added three cups of my alcohol extraction, one cup of witch hazel, about a teaspoon of glycerin and probably a teaspoon of coconut oil, and then my essential oils, and then I just bottled it up. Okay, look at all of the stuff that I made out of that one bucket of leaves. And I am not showing here the six larger spray bottles that I made with that final alcohol extraction. This is a whole lot of good things right here, you guys. Okay, I brought you outside so I could show you these little products. This is my salve. This is lavender lemongrass, and I wanna show you what it looks like. It, it's a solid but it's real, real soft. Look at this. And then when you put it on, it just kind of melts into your skin. It's real emollient and almost kind of glisteny. And I think that's just because of the coconut oil and the glycerin. And in this one, I used a lemongrass and a lavender essential oil, and it smells fabulous. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Next, I have, <laughs> I call this Gloil because it glows and it's an oil. And so I put it in these little flip top bottles. I got a bunch of this stuff from the dollar store. It's a little travel size bottles. So 
it, it's oil. And it, it kind of feels almost like a, a sun tanning oil. And this one is coconut oil and uh, peppermint essential oils. And look how, can you see how glistening, glowy, shiny my skin is? It actually feels like it's kind of nourishing my skin, my old dry freckled skin. And then I have, I just got a couple of little bottles, little spray bottles at the dollar store too. Now these are, um, they're just a spray and they'll evaporate just like most sprays would. But it's real light, but there's just a little bit of coconut oil in it so it sticks to your skin also. It smells fabulous. I am so excited about these things, you guys. I just can't believe I have all of this stuff down on the farm and um, Google showed me, showed me how to make good use of it. I hope you guys will make some of these. If you have beauty berries, get busy. Make yourself some jelly and some insect repellent. I'm gonna keep these down at the farm for guests. I don't usually get mosquito bites, but a lot of people in my family do. And I'm sharing some with people that I love. So enjoy those beauty berries, guys. What a blessing we have in all these little things that just grow wild all around us. Keep looking, Google stuff, get a plant app, and if you see stuff growing around where you live and you're curious about it, just look it up. There's all kinds of stuff that you can probably do with simple things that are right under your nose and you never knew it. Okay, here's where I remind us all to see the good and be the good. You guys enjoy this pretty little picture I took out at the farm. Just one sweet moment that God gave me and he has those for you too. Just look around and see all this glory and remember how much you are loved. God bless.